After being convicted guilty of bank fraud, tax evasion, and other offenses, Todd Chrysley and his wife Julie reported to prison about a year ago. The majority of information on the former Chrysley knows best stars that has surfaced after they were imprisoned has come from their kids or legal counsel. But near the end of 2023, Todd did finally break his silence and offer his candid observations about his living circumstances. But at least one person, Abby Lee Miller, now appears to believe it was a mistake on his behalf. The Dance Moms actress didn't hold back while discussing Todd's legal troubles, it goes without saying. The 58-year-old Abby Lee Miller served time in prison after being charged in 2015 for allegedly concealing her income. She ultimately entered a guilty plea and received a one-year prison sentence. Miller was freed in 2018 following his reporting in 2017 and subsequent time reduction. She has therefore had some experience interacting with the criminal justice system. Regarding the 54-year-old patriarch of Chrisley's remarks, she feels that by stepping out, he has just made things more difficult for himself. According to Miller, the establishment might now attempt to get him back. They are going to succeed in capturing you. They'll figure out a method to make you look even worse. They're going to figure out a way to deny you rights. They'll figure out a method to simply make things worse than they are for everyone else. When talking about the purported difficulties he has encountered while serving his sentence, Todd Chrisley, for his part, did not hold back. In December 2023, during his initial interview from behind bars, he described Pensacola's federal prison camp as disgustingly filthy. Additionally, he said that officials were literally starving these men to death here and that he and the other prisoners were given old food. Chrisley also mentioned that there are rats among the squirrels near the food storage. The assertions were refuted by the Federal Prison Bureau, which had previously responded to the Chrisley's complaints about their facilities. Abby Lee Miller continued, saying she absolutely supports Todd Chrisley's efforts to speak out. In an interview with DailyMail.com, she went on to discuss more reasons for his decision to be so open. I believe he's trying to inform others about the circumstances he lives in, hoping that information will reach the Bureau of Prisons, who is located upstairs in the prison. It's likely that the inmates are ecstatic that he informed everyone that Cat had fallen on them. The guards are to blame. Todd go. When Abby Lee Miller originally replied to Todd Chrisley's detention, her remarks weren't nearly as kind. Miller said that Chrisley would not fare well in prison during last year's discussion on the issue, calling him very bougie. She also joked that he wouldn't be able to cope with having less access to basic necessities like towels and soap. Following the remarks, Lindsay, Todd's daughter, gave the Lifetime alum a backhanded clap. Lindsay described the situation as Miller's most recent claim to fame. While Chrisley stated that although she wasn't trying to be petty, she thought the remarks were very inappropriate. Todd and Julie Chrisley, who is incarcerated in Kentucky's Federal Medical Center, were given sentences of 12 and 7 years in prison, respectively. Due to a change in the law, both of them have subsequently had time off their sentences, and they are currently considering filing an appeal. Over the holidays, the Chrisley family received wonderful news. Their appeal has been given oral arguments. The week of April 15, 2024, is when those will be heard. How things turn out, and if Abby Lee Miller and others will weigh in, are still to be seen.